I would like to welcome you to the world of Push TV. Are you ready for the comedy? Episode so good, it feels like an anomaly. Showtime is the star. It's Push TV. Welcome to the world of Push TV. If it isn't Showtime, who would he be? Welcome to the world. Push TV. Welcome to the world. Cousin, daddy, and mama do one this You don't want to miss none of the comical punches It'll make you bust the good like the domino crunches oh. You must be watching Push TV If it wasn't Showtime, who else would he be? It begins in no time, so would we see? Tune in, take a seat, welcome to Push TV Peace, and welcome to the exciting and unpredictable world of Push TV I'm the host Showtime, and I want to welcome you to the show as usual. Once again, we got an extremely fun show for you. Um, thank you for joining us every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Don't forget, if you can't make it, to set your DVR so you won't miss a thing. Also, you can check us out on www.pushtv.webs.com for anything that you may miss, and also exclusive offers and cool Push TV apparel just like this. <laughs> it's all available online. So I want to welcome you to the show, and tonight is a very special show because this is the first episode where we uh, talk about our upcoming uh, Dirty Diaper Award, <laughs> and we're going to be handing out to some of the worst parents across the country that we just happen to be able to catch pictures and information about. So, you know, what we, we, what we want you to do over the next couple, uh, couple of shows over the next few weeks is help us narrow down, you know, send your votes in, send in your sponsors, and help us find the worst parents that we can find and hit them off across the head snap them on the finger and punish them with the Dirty Diaper Award. So this week's nominees, we got, we got, well, how many nominees we got? We got, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nominees this week. Um, so I want to get them all. I'm going to put the pictures up, put the captions up. Here we go. First one we want to talk about is the Baghead Baby. Look at that, man. Come on now. That's not a raincoat. Come on. <laughs> You don't have a hat or hood or nothing for him, huh? Uh, the next one we want to show is stroller for a ride. Now, you know, it's one thing to take a baby for a walk in the stroller. However, this is totally, totally unacceptable. Something totally different. Come on, y'all. Come on. Uh, the next one we got is fun at the zoo. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the other raccoon. He's looking away like, are you serious? <laughs> The next one we got is Thin Ice, and I think the name says it all. You know, he, I, obviously he's not worried about it, but uh, I'm kind of worried about the kids, actually. The next one is Baby Not On Board. I don't know about y'all, but uh, that street actually looks uh, pretty busy to me, and it's not a place I want to have my uh, car carrier laid out. It's not even close to the vehicle, actually, so that's the scary thing about it. The next one we have, this one is kind of weird actually, it's Backpack Baby. Now, uh, I don't know if the baby is hurt or if it's something the baby is used to, but uh, he doesn't seem too concerned as he's answering his text message right there, so I, I don't know. <laughs> Dirty Diaper Awards, uh, he looks like a winner to me. Uh, the next one we got is Gambling for Diapers. <laughs> uh, some people might look at this and say, well, at least she's trying to get some money or get some food or whatever for the baby guy, but come on. You know casinos are usually pretty smoky and she's actually got her back turned to the baby, so it can't be that sick. And the last one we want to talk about, it's kind of gross to me, however, this one is called Buns in the Backseat. <laughs> now that looks like a very uncomfortable ride for me, and I really, really, really feel sorry for the stuffed animals just there as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, these are the eight nominees. Over the next couple weeks, we're going to vote the worst of the worst, narrow it down to two, then we're going to have a championship vote off, and then we're going to pick the worst parent of the year so far and hit them off across the head with the Dirty Diaper Award, which is not actually winning, however, <laughs> uh, you will be rewarded with the Dirty Diaper Award. I want y'all to continue to watch Push TV, 
continue with the feedback. Continue to enjoy yourselves and enjoy the show. Also, enjoy this next clip. Peace. Today. Ain't that. Ooh, that's nice bacon. Ooh. 8 dollars a pound. What? Hey, boo. What? Hey, can you uh bring me my phone? Get it yourself. My legs is not broke. Ah! Oh! Mm. Thank you. What's up? Hey, my man, I'm telling you, man, I just got that uh, information in the mail about those grants that we wrote for that uh, non-violent organization that we started, that non-profit. Yeah, I got the grant money in the mail today. Yeah, man, we on, man. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I sent it in last week, man. Everything good. Yeah, yeah, hold on for a second. Hey, boo! What? Uh, can you bring me that envelope for that one grant money we got earlier this week? Uh-uh, I already told you. Get it yourself. Hold on now. I'll be right back in a second. Hold on. Oh! Oh! Hello? Thank you. Yeah, man. We got that grant money, man. We on. Um, Nothing about it. Yeah, man. You heard what Terrell did the other day, right? He put his hands on his girl, man. Me and John have to go over there and check that fool. I know that's your guy, man. You've been knowing him longer than I have, so you might want to go over there and talk to him, too, man. We can't have that stuff in this non-profit, non-violent organization. You know what I'm saying? No, we got both of the grants. One of the grants was, you know what I'm saying, for 16 and the other one's for 24. No doubt. Yeah, we got it, right? Hold, hold on for a second, man. Hey, boo. Huh? Uh, could you bring me that other envelope with the uh, other grant money in it? Uh-uh, man. This is too much. I already told you. My mama didn't raise no fool. I'm not going to be doing everything for you. Hold on, my man. Give me a second. Oh! Oh my God! Oh, mama. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, man. No doubt. So we got the grant money, you know what I'm saying? Hey, did you get your pictures uh, back from Walgreens? Yeah, I got mine. I got all mine. I took them when we went on that trip when we was on the Vegas. Man, you got the pictures of that one? Woo! No doubt. Yeah, I had to pick mine myself because you know the ones were in there. The ones we took with us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hold on. I think that went in there. Hold on. Let me see. It. Let me see if it's in my group. Hold on. Hey, boo. What? Uh, can you bring me those pictures, the ones I got developed today from uh, Vegas? Uh-uh, I'm not going to be bringing you no pictures so you can look at the pictures that you went with your little friends. You better get them yourself. Hold on, my man. Give me a minute. Not again. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, what's up, man? Thank you. Yeah, man. So, yeah, man, we on, man. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's in here. Ooh. Yeah, you gonna love this, man. Yeah, both. You talking about the red hair one? Man, no doubt. Yeah, she cool. Did you get her number? No, I, I didn't get her number. I'm, I'm devoted. I got a girl. Yeah, I got her number, man. Shut up. You think you'd be caught up, man? Yeah, man. Anyways, man. Yeah, oh, man. <clears throat> Kind of parts, man. Hold on, man. I need a drink. Hey, boo, can you bring me a drink? Here you go, baby. Thank you. Yeah, man. So, uh, man, I'm about to let you go, man. Let you know. I'll hit you up tomorrow, man. I'll let you know how everything went. Yeah, man. No doubt. Like I said, non-violent, man. Non-profit. We in. All right, man. Good.
course, is a new interactive segment of Push TV. This is where we allow you to tell us about your crush or your secret feelings that you have about someone. They'll send us your name, your crush's name, and we'll take care of the rest. We'll air your information on the show for you so that it's a little bit easier. It's a perfect situation because even if that special someone isn't watching the show, you know, someone who knows he or her or someone who knows them is watching the show and the information will get back eventually. All you have to do is send your crush your information to pushtv at live.com or you can also send us the information via text message to 920-397-4427. And we'll get the information out. We'll air it on the next show. This is a new segment, so it won't be successful without your help. We want to hear from you. We want to hear from all you secret admirers. And this has been Cold Crush. Can't wait for the next segment. Push TV, on location, the big event for little kids at Shopco Hall, Green Bay. This year's event was the 23rd annual sensory learning event, which actually brought out about 3,500 people. There were over 70 activities for kids to enjoy, which included inflatable games, face painting, costume characters, and more. There was also a special performance from the Encompass Daycare Center's 4K students, which included my youngest daughter, Malaya, and also a family friend, Jay Sean. Check it out. And check out Push TV on location. Today's topic of roundtable discussion is I, I really didn't want to bring it up, man, but I got to talk about it, man, because I'm seeing a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, with, man, how do you say this, unattractive babies, you know what I'm saying, like, and individuals is lying to them and telling them that their baby's cute, like, all babies are not cute, and I'm tired of hearing everybody saying, oh, that baby's so cute, in actuality, they might be lying and saying that their baby's cute just because it's a baby, I don't care if it's a baby or not, if it's not a good looking baby, it's not a good looking baby. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously. The like, baby so, is ugly. Like, so if you got an unattractive baby, you know what I'm saying? And, I mean, I wouldn't call a baby ugly because that's just me and that's rude. I'm not trying to be disrespectful or nothing like that. I'm just being real right now. We being real on Push TV. We be real all the time. We bring out the truth. We talk nothing but the truth. However, like I said, everybody don't got an attractive baby. So if you see an ugly baby, if you ask me, is your baby cute? Hey, I'm just going to tell you the truth. I'm going to be like, you know what I'm saying? He, he look just like you. You got some of your features. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever it may be. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna call a baby ugly like that. Like I said, that'd be disrespectful. But it is people out there with ugly babies, and I'm tired of hearing people. I think it's. Do you think that's being people being dishonest by saying the baby cute when they know in actuality that the baby's really not cute? It is being dishonest. It is being dishonest. Completely being dishonest. Have you ever came across. Here's a question Have any of you or yourself ever came across someone with an ugly baby? It do you off guard. Oh, yeah. But, baby, when you be like. Oh, whoa, oh, yeah. Surprise me, little fella. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. I see so many pictures. Of, like, a lot of people be posting them on Facebook, too. Like, so if you posting it on there, you put it out there for everybody to see. However, man, like, man. <laughs> yeah, if you put your baby out there for everybody to see, they will judge your baby. You know what I'm saying? And that's where people put pictures out there just of themselves or that baby or anything in general that you're putting out there is for everybody to see. So. I mean, that's a, like I said, it's a touchy subject, man, because yeah, babies yeah. supposed to be they innocent, mm -hmm. and it's not their their fault that they, you know, what I'm saying look a certain way, you know, what I'm saying they, they do have, have time to go out of it, right? And most and most babies do, you know, what I'm saying, but I see a lot of unattractive babies, and it is because it's quite hilarious that everybody like tends to not tell the truth and say every baby's cute, mm -hmm. when the actuality is not, you know, what I'm saying. Yeah. So I, I don't think 
I think everybody feels the same way when they see an ugly baby. They just will not be honest with that person. And a lot of times, folks who would have those ugly babies will ask someone, ain't my baby cute? Now that person is stuck like, oh. <laughs> right, put him in the upper door, like, you know, you know, uh, what are they gonna say? Oh, uh, wow. You know, that's what they gonna say, they gonna be right. caught. You know, when they get home, they say, ooh, child, that baby was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think we done all said that before. I guarantee you, it's a lot of people that's gonna be viewing the show tonight that seen the baby, that answered that the baby was a good looking baby or a cute baby or whatever. And no, once they left that person's presence, they was like, oh my goodness, that baby was uh, a boat. Mm. Definitely a boat. Tell me what a boat means. Let me tell you, let me, let me explain to you about it. A boat is my roundabout way of telling somebody that they're unattractive. Mm. So if I see you and I extenuate the about, then that means that you, you're an about person. You're about an ugly mom. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so basically, if, you know saying? Something like you see an unattractive person and they go into the store or something. So I say something like, oh, so you're about to go to the store? You know what I'm saying? That's just my way of getting it in, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, that's just me. That's I'm a, I'm a funny cat. I like getting it in, you know what I'm saying? I like to laugh and make other people laugh. So that's just my way of doing it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, somebody might think we ugly, Kevin. Okay? What you think? I, I was in high school. A lot of folks thought I was ugly in high school. Uh, not me. I don't think I've always been fun. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> I push TV. <laughs> the boy got swag. Turn it up 100. <laughs> No, you know I don't, you know, I, I really don't, when it comes to me, how I look, I, I really don't care, you know, uh, I don't be on that, all that swag and all that, but I right. know, uh, you look at my wife, you, yeah, that tells it all right there, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> but, uh, we want y'all feedback, so please, uh, you know what I'm saying, hit us up on uh, pushtv at live.com, or you can check out the website at www.pushtv.webs.com. And uh, you can uh, basically uh, submit uh, anything that you want to put or any kind of response that you want to write to us and we'll read it off on the next show or on one of our next shows, uh, you know what I'm saying? Response or whatever you're trying to say to us. We'll get it out there and put it on TV. We want to hear from you, it's important. Like I said, these round table discussions won't be a round table without your discussion. So like I said again, thanks for coming through, Earl. Sure. Sure. We got to get out of here. Peace, shmush. check out this next clip. Smush, smush TV. Let's go. Go. Oh, oh, no. You 
Okay. That's right. Yay, blow the candles out. Blow them out, man. Blow them out, man. Blow them out, man. All right, turn the lights back on. This is how we do it on Push TV. It's going down. Hold up, I got to get the candle lights back on. The April birthdays, we here celebrating my son Tyson's birthday on the 8th. We got a lot of birthdays this month. Who else's birthday? Who else's birthday this month? We got Tiana's birthday this month. She going to be, how old she going to be? 12 on the 29th. Sandel's birthday, she going to be 10 on the 28th. Who else we got for April birthdays this month? I know my auntie's birthday was on the 2nd. Auntie Priscilla is going down. This is Push TV, man. That's how we do it. Every time, just for you. Check out this next clip. Gotta work late, yelling in my face cause no dinner on her plate. Laundry ain't finished, she popped her top, but she loved me or not. I gotta get away. Domestic abuse got me cleaning every day, got me feeling recluse. I gotta get loose, if not, she gon' kill me with a clean then new. Detectives got me cruise cause it seemed too clean, but I gotta clean up. It was love, now she got me doing all the chores. Cooking, washing, dusting, sweeping, scrubbing all the floors. I scrub the floors more than I scrub myself Doing all the chores Cooking, washing, dusting, sleeping, scrubbing all the floors yes. I scrub the floors more than I scrub Ow. myself why you acting so mean? Always yelling at me, say I gotta cook and clean. I said we'd be together, but I thought we'd be a team. Never thought I'd be the slave and you'd be acting like my queen. Ow, I almost wanna scream. Laundry every day and all I watch is skinny jeans. No, you shit is bleak, can't stop itching, stop tripping I only came to my kitchen and do chores I ain't ready for a war, all I wanted was your love But all I got is clean floors Clitty, clean money Play. She got me doing all the chores Cooking, washing, dusting, sweeping, scrubbing all the floors I scrub the floors more than I scrub myself Doing all the chores Cooking, washing, dusting, sweeping, scrubbing on the floors. I scrub the floors more than I scrub myself. Peace. Welcome back to Push TV. It's your boy Provoc, the EC affiliate. Uh, as promised, according to our roundtable discussions, we were going to be reading back some feedback that you guys sent in to us, and we have some. So uh, one person responded to our uh, roundtable discussion that we had about common sense. It states, I would never talk down on book smarts, but I think a lot of folks are missing out on street smarts and common sense nowadays. I'm just saying, real is real. And like I said, as we discussed, yeah, a lot of people are missing out on common sense and we don't talk down on book smarts and we appreciate people that actually get education and, and go, go to school and be a positive role model for the kids. But like I said, you also need common sense as well. Thanks for that feedback, we appreciate it. Uh, somebody also responded to uh, the bullies one, the, the round table discussion that we had about bullies. It states, bullies are cowards and once they are exposed, all that mess comes out in the end. All you have to do is stand up to them and I did. Congratulations man, I'm glad you stood up to the bully. Uh, thanks for your feedback. We also have one uh, about uh, the round table discussion that we had about people not being able to say no as adults. I mean about anything that it may be uh, that you may be confronted with. This one states, one time I should have said no and I ended up with my oldest son. I've been saying no ever since, LOL. All my babies love Push TV. <laughs> Thanks for watching the show. We appreciate that feedback. <laughs> I'm glad your kids watch us. But again, that's a situation where you know, an individual did say no and ended up with a baby. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you're not the only one. <laughs> uh, we also got somebody that just wrote in asking us, uh, who comes up with all you guys' skits? Do you guys have writers? Do you guys accept uh, submissions? I got some hectic stuff for you. 
man, if you got some material for us or you got some ideas that you want to send, send it in to us at uh, www.pushtv.webs.com or you can hit us up on our email at pushtv.live.com. Uh, so if you got something for us, man, send it in. And we appreciate the feedback. Like I said, next time we're going to be reading off some more. Keep sending the stuff in, man. Like I said, it can't be a roundtable discussion without you. Peace. Peace. Okay, Push TV, we got to get up out of here, man. It's been another hot show, another good time with you, the viewers. Another good time for me, Showtime, the host. Uh, before we get out of here, I do want to say thank you. Thank each and every one of you for the support, for watching us every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Tell your friends about us. Also, continue to send us information about your events, things you got going on, because even if Push TV can't be in the building, we'll definitely talk about it on the show and make sure that everybody else knows about it, which is sometimes better than us being there. <laughs> I, I can get a little crazy sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, you know, we're going to keep the show moving. We're going to keep things moving ahead. Uh, we've been having some crazy weather here in Wisconsin, especially with Green Bay. Uh, one of the things we're going to do is get it hot for y'all on Push TV. Y'all continue to send us y'all clips, continue to send us the videos, continue with the feedback, you know, and make sure you check out our website, www.pushtv.web.com. And I know, I know we've said it quite a few times on the show here tonight, but one of the reasons why we say that is because that's the only place where you can get the exclusive information, the exclusive Push TV apparel, and see certain videos that are not going to be aired on the show. So, with that in mind, stay tuned, stay locked in, don't forget to vote for the Dirty Diaper Awards. The worst parents of the year, the worst parents around the nation. Make sure you get your vote in so we can slim it down and hit them with the Dirty Diaper Award. Punish them with that. And make sure you also continue to hit us back about the roundtable discussion. I'm Showtime. This is Push TV. And this is me leaving. Peace.